We interrupt this program for some breaking news. Hello, this is Yusuf Deshji from BBC News. Many people around the world want to know how Qatar is turning into a green city. Well, the most important thing is water. If there was no water, then there would not be any plants. Water should be poured into the soil next to the plant. The water would travel through the roots, which absorbs and conducts the water. The water would have something called the root hairs that help absorb the water and ions from the soil. The, that takes it into the main roots. Water from the soil will enter into, into the hair roots through a process called osmosis. The root has six things. The root tip, which is protected by something called the root cap. The water that passes through the vascular rays until, we, until it reaches to the steel, where the vein is called the xylem that carries the water to the stem, and the phloem that brings food to the stem are located and the cortex that stores water and food as starch. Then it goes up to the stem. The stem has many things. The cambium, where cells make new xylem and new phloem as the plant grows. The epidermis, which is a single layer of cells on the outside of the stem, which protects the stem and cuts down water loss. The vascular bundle, which is made of phloem, cambium, and xylem. The cortex, which is the outer layer next to the epidermis and is composed mostly of undifferentiated atoms. The long distance water transport is called the cohesion theory, where the force of the transport is transpiration, which is the evaporation from the leaf surfaces. It also is the sticking of the water molecules, so they form a continuous flow extending from the leaves to the roots. The adhesion is where water molecules that adhere stick into the walls of the xylem. When unequal distribution of ions goes across the cell membrane, solutes move along a concentration gradient, which is also called diffusion. Transpiration is a kind of, of like evaporation. Leaves have some openings called the stomata. The stomata have guard cells that open and close the pore. The stomata allow the circulation of carbon dioxide from the air for photosynthesis. Transpiration cools plants and lets in large amount of nutrients and water from the roots to the shoots. The leaves have xylem and phloem tubes. The epidermis is on the outside and protects the leaf. Palisade mesophyll have something called chloroplast, which have a green substance in them called chlorophyll that makes the plant green. The spongy mesophyll protects the epidermis. They are more rounded and not as tightly packed as the palisade. They contain less amount of chlorophyll. The stomata is connected to the air spaces between the spongy mesophyll. The carbon dioxide travels through the stomata at the bottom of the leaf. The light energy which the chloroplast creates turn the carbon dioxide and water into glucose. The plant keeps it into an energy and then releases oxygen for, for humans to breathe. Photosynthesis means putting together with light. It takes place in the chloroplast and the leaves. Chlorophyll in them absorbs the sunlight and combines carbon dioxide and water to make sugar and oxygen. Plants use sugar to make starch, fats and proteins. Carbon dioxide and oxygen in turn leave from the stomata. Thank you for listening to our breaking news.